Hey folks, the Trace Monk here. Um, let's play some more Pillars of Eternity. Now, I've done a little bit of uh, thinking about things and setting things up. Hopefully, do better against these druids. I taught Aloth Ghost Blades and Necrotic Lance in the hope that that treats us a little better there. I gave Merrick the bartender's ring that we picked up which will give him which will increase his defense while stunned went ahead and swapped uh, Ga the Gon's pledge that he was wearing over to Aloth because I mean we don't really want Merrick using Gon's pledge because it's just <laughs> he incidentally creates an AoE from everything there um It might not be a bad idea to, yeah, well, that might be like uh, too much extra stacking, but that ought to help with the defensive attributes. Also put the the larder door shield on um, Edder. Uh, gave Durance the fine robe that we picked up earlier at some point. I uh, didn't change anything with Kana, although I feel like I probably should. And the Sagani's, I think, as good as we can kind of get. Let's put everybody I'll see what I can in... Find. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, everybody, everybody, together. I forgot I had clicked somewhere. We are trying to be extra special stealthy over here. We know that somewhere... Around here, yet yeah, there's the like dead body. Okay. Hey. All right. Okay, they can't see you yeah. there. Mhm. Mm Move Merrick over here, and yeah, we swapped out one of Merrick's weapons too. Mm -hmm. Uh, let's sit. Durance kind of right here behind here. them. Sagani, Kana back there. And the wolf kind of up here. Hi. And Aloth is going to try to cast Chill Fog kind of right up in through. Here, can we do that? Ah, thick where sun rock. Okay, now run back. And hopefully, they all kind of come through that fog area. No, no, no. Attack that. of everybody that's not normally attacking, attack that one. I want you to do your little finger. Uh, and you... Go ahead and wounded strike that one. Uh, Curse of Blackened Sight is a faux AoE spell. that last though 26 seconds blinded yeah that won't help much against the casting though really huh? hey what are you doing man get over there Oh yes, thank you, stun everybody, yes, or at least we're going to try to stun everybody. Oh 
this is not going well at all. Although there's there, there's the slight chance this could actually be going better than last time, although it doesn't feel like it. Because there's several of them that are much lower in terms of uh, Much, that appear to be much lower in terms of like overall health and such, or in terms of their endurance right now. Okay, and now Durance is doing what he can to keep everybody alive. Can't speak for how well that's gonna work. That's one down. I think that's better than we were doing last time. Uh, yeah, you definitely attack over here. All you guys I'm gonna attack over there. Uh, you have this right here, which hit two of them. Ooh. Good. But I don't want you attack that one. Ah. <laughs> That looked like it was going much worse, but turned out to go way better. So, yay! Oh my goodness. Feral Druid times four. <laughs> we got two fine battle axes, two fine flails, two fine spears, four, four fine sets of light hide armor, four hoods, Two agates, a lo three lock picks, which I guess we'll pick all those up ourselves. And yeah, send the rest of that into the stash. Huh. And then find out what the rest of this mess look. was all, right. all about up here. So we got a single talon or whatever that was. Okay. Oh yeah, let's pick up that because we kind of skipped it over this time around. Okay. I don't think we'll encounter anything that's quite that bad in the rest of our stay here, but... We'll just have to see, I guess. Yeah, I got some deer there. Oh, mm, there's a stone structure over here. There's something that we can touch or activate. Oh, what are you? Oh, you're Pligris. Oh, you guys aren't so bad. It's not just, you know, completely... It's 
not just go completely crazy here, though. You do need to actually attack people. Oh, come on, Durance. You're really gonna... Take that big of a set of hits there. Aww. That guy got poisoned to passing out. and took Kana out. Thank goodness we're not playing on anything resembling a hey. hardcore mode, right? What is this? I still don't get what this bashing two thing is. Okay. Well, obviously we need to rest before we do much of anything else here. Yeah. Oh, hey, Aloth has leveled. Let's see what we get now. Put some points in. Put a point into stealth. Sure, let's put some points into mechanics. Ooh, level three spells. There's no point in doing Consul Hot's draining touch, I think, because he's our or fireball because he's got a couple of. Uh, grimoires that already have that. Um, Rhinegrim's Repulsive Visage. Bow AoE sickened for 2.6 seconds. Terrified for 2.6 seconds. Deleterious Alacrity of Motion. Oh, we get two spells. Mm. Crackling bolt, that's a single target thing. Um, exposed vulnerabilities, foe AoE, minus five damage reduction, minus 10 deflection, minus 10 concentration. That's probably a pretty good one to pick up. Um, oh. I feel like I should have other options here. Beneficial effects suspended for 19 and a half seconds. Arduous delay of motion. Displaced image. No, that's just... Leap to two additional targets each. Noxious Burst is an AoE Corrode. I think we'll go with the Arduous Delay of Motion and Expose Vulnerabilities. Because those should let him do a fairly good job. Mm -hmm. Be exceptionally careful here. We're just kind of wanting to explore what's along the outside of this. Do we have anything else that's interactive? No, no, we don't. We just have this one thing here. I get a distinct impression that it's going to maybe lower that water level, but I don't know. We need to. Uh, ooh, we actually. I believe we need to go in here and edit his... Oh, no. Okay, we got those. 
Got those two in there. And yeah, see, in this one we have Fireball. Oh, what was... Oh no, we didn't have the Corrosive Siphon. We just had, or we did have the Corrosive Siphon, we didn't have whatever that other one was. We definitely have access to some other spells. So, yeah, we're going to camp, use one of our camping supplies. And there we go. All right. I have no idea what's going to happen when I touch this, so let's quick save. The bright sun casts its light on a pattern in the ground. You kneel to get a better look. The stone here has been carved with a few simple shapes. A small circular indentation marks the center, and a much larger circle surrounds it. You see what appears to be writing above the two circles. Let's examine the writing. The characters are completely foreign to you, no doubt the remnants of some long forgotten language. The circular indentation is shallow and smooth. It looks like it was intended to hold something specific. Several shapes have been carved along the outer ring, though most have been worn away. You can make out a crescent above the center. Hmm. Let's wait a while. Ooh. Am in the writing? No? Okay. No? Okay, waiting doesn't do anything for us right now, apparently. So this is some sort of little mm. puzzle. Shh. But I'm not sure what it's actually supposed to... I, I imagine there's something that we're going to pick up somewhere, perhaps? and be able to put into that hole. But for right now, mm, no, doesn't appear to be. Oh, Warden's Lodge construction completed. I guess we do need to purchase the Bailey at some point here. Because there's a whole bunch of upgrades we can't actually get without it. Yeah. Let's go ahead and have the Bailey built. Uh-oh, we have, like, drag marks or something. You're obvious. Chewing on a piece of uncooked meat, a small Orlin dressed in tattered leathers offers greeting and waves his hand. Despite his pleasant smile, the upper right portion of his face is in a sorry state. An eye patch. The, the text isn't wrapping properly. An eye patch with a stylized eyeball wraps around his head. And his ear is a mangled remnant that twitches and something... Yeah. Next to him is the splayed carcass of a deer that appears ripped open by a bear or wolf. You hear a gurgling rumble next to you. Sagani places her hand on her stomach. Her eyes are on the carcass. Still fresh. Itumak's pink tongue lolls out of its out of his mouth. If this is your deer, you need a new game warden. Name's Heravius. Hungry? I can't eat all this. First catch of the day, help yourself. <laughs> you might want to cook that first. And ruin the original texture? That's the best part! <laughs> Just see for yourself. Okay. Eat up! After you. 
Oh. Mm, so delicious. <laughs> now I know the deer had elderberries for its last meal. Are you sure you don't want to try some? Well, what killed it? One ornery Stelgar. Though looking at the deer's insides, it had a malformed but delicious heart and would have been dead within the year regardless. Galloway chose a fitting end for this fine animal. Pardon me. I shouldn't pray with my mouth full. Well, what brings you here? Other than the delicious venison, new trees to document, new animals to sketch, new sights to be seen. I've learned as much as I can from the druids of my circle. I'd rather wander and learn than take root and stagnate. So if you're traveling the Deerwood and need another set of hands, I'd welcome the safety of a group. Hmm. Druid's assistance would be welcome. I'm trained by the celebrants of Hawk and Ivy of the Fisher Crane tribe. I know more than my share of nature magic, and, well, I don't shy away from a good fight. I have business with the druids that live near Twin Elms. So long as we find ourselves there eventually, I'm happy to follow along. Hmm. Well, you're welcome Splendid. to join us. It'll be an honor to run with a pack for a change. Okay, well, we picked up Harabius. Uh, I think we're going to swap him out for Kana? And what options do we have here with you? What, are you, what is your thing here? Okay, weapon focus peasant. Okay, yeah, he's. A, what's his thing here? He is. Spirit shift Stelgare. Well, yeah. That doesn't tell me what it does, though. He does have access to that nifty little druid spell, though, that was causing us trouble. So much trouble. Returning Storm. We will have to see... What, uh... What things will do us best here. Dancing Bolt. Okay, well that'll be all interesting. But for uh oh did he just he did say one ornery Stelgare killed the deer. Was that him? Spirit shifted into one? Huh. Okay. Well, folks, we'll mm. continue our journeys with Herabius next time. Until then, I hope you enjoy. Bye-bye.